everybody, this is uh, Jack Miller from SETS ASU Rock Tree Division. Um, previous uh, tutorial, we showed you how to do multi-stage rockets. Um, this video, we're actually going to show you some of the different tools you can use on Open Rocket to make pictures of your rocket, as well as one of the more advanced optimization functions you can use on your rocket. Uh, the first thing we're going to start out with is um, making different pictures of your rocket, because that can be really cool for advertising your rocket on Facebook and stuff, and give you a lot of publicity. So you can see from the first rocket, it's still labeled as a black body. When you hit this 3D finished, it shows you the rocket. Typically, if you don't do anything to it, it's just gonna show up as cardboard tubes, which is kind of boring looking. Um, so what we can do is, it's set as, you know, we unclick this use default, and default color I had in there with black. So I'm gonna actually add a texture um, from file. So we're gonna try to find different textures. Um, so in my documents, let's see if I can find something. No, I'm gonna go documents. Uh, I have rocket pictures right here. So we're gonna choose this. We're gonna go to SA Cup 2019. And we're gonna go to SEDS logo. So it kinda, it, it, it shows up and it doesn't show up. So we're gonna scale it a little bit. Rotation, we're gonna change the rotation. We're gonna change it to 90 degrees because you can see now the rocket's a little bit strange. You can see we got SEDS ASU Rock 2 Division right there. That's kind of cool. Um, a little bit big, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to change that appearance. We don't want it to be scaled that much. We're going to scale it by half, because I guess this is a pretty good file. But we're going to change it by half, see if that fits on there a little bit better. Okay, and you don't have to have it on repeat. Um, sticker. I don't know what that did. Okay, I guess we're going to keep it on repeat. Um, but you can see it's it's got our logo on there now and it's repeating it around the rocket, which is kind of interesting. So we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and change our fins from this color. We're going to change the appearance. We're going to choose, um, let's choose like maroon. That's pretty cool. That's like red, I guess. But that's a pretty cool rocket. So it looks pretty cool. Okay, and we're going to change the nose cone. Uh, we don't want the appearance to be that color. Let's choose, uh, let's choose gold actually. That's part of, that's one of the ASU's colors. I couldn't get the gold just right, but that, that looks kind of orange. No, that's gold. Okay, so now we have a golden nose cone, sets AC Rock Division body, and these fins are bugging me. I'm gonna change this back. Try to find a more maroon color, because I don't like this color right now. Uh, this looks pretty maroon. That's maroon. That's maroon, okay. So now we've changed the color of our rocket, basically. And so this is kind of interesting. It's got ASU colors on there. Let's see our motor on there. And what I'm going to do now uh, that we have this really awesome looking rocket, we're going to go to edit and we're go over to tools. Uh, we're going to go to photo studio, which is a cool little studio we've used to make lots of cool pictures of our rocket. And you can see once we've hit that, we actually have a picture of our rocket. I'm going to try to scale out because uh, this is a little bit too zoomed in. There you go. You can just scroll out and it should pop up. But you can see this is a this is our rocket. And you can change the environment. If you want to change sunlight, uh, you can change all sorts of different colors of sunlight. If you want to be on Tatooine or Pluto or I don't know, Neptune or something like that, you can change the tint to blue. I don't know. But um, you can change all sorts of different things. You can change the image. If you don't want mountains, you can do a meadow, a nice sunny meadow, hopefully. Yeah, so you can be like two feet off the ground apparently and launching a rocket. Uh, stormy days is kind of cool. But like I said, you can change all sorts of cool things. Effects, this is always a fun one. So this is your camera effects. This is where your rocket's gonna be located, how it looks um, in the camera view. Uh, effects is a fun one because you can change all sorts of cool stuff, make cool fiery pictures. So you can choose smoke, smoke opacity, you can change the different color, flame. We're gonna add some flames, so check that out. We got a nice red flame there because I think we have a H220 blue thunder. So we're gonna change that to a blue flame. All right, check that out, isn't that cool? So we can change the aspect ratio. If you want to have a giant flame, you can keep changing that. Sparks are always fun. Uh, spark concentration, lots of sparks. Uh, spark weight, stuff like that. So this is what you can do. Um, that way you can take a, you can save a picture of it. Um, speed, we're gonna make it look like it's actually moving. So you can see we add a little bit of speed there, so that's pretty cool. And you can do is you can file save picture. Um, so that's kind of fun. Just a way for you to get cool pictures of your rockets so you can advertise it on your Facebook. Um, what we're gonna do then is, I showed you that, so that's one of the cool studios you can use. Uh, one of the different tools you can use, we're gonna go ahead and say, change this to a side view. And you might have seen it earlier, but component analysis, we're gonna click on that. You can see the different components on here. Uh, I haven't really used this that much. It's not super useful, but it, it's up to you guys. Um, the other thing I like to use, uh, you can do custom expressions. You can, you can make your own code in here. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. But uh, it's up to you if you want. Uh, one of the tools I've played around with, which is somewhat useful, is, is rocket optimization. 
And so what happens is this menu pops up and it shows you a little picture of your rocket basically. I'm gonna try to increase the size here. Okay, so it shows you your rocket and it gives you all these different parameters for your body tubes. Like if you click on nose cone, it shows you diameter, length, over, override mass, shape parameter, thickness, stuff like that. Um, we're gonna actually choose, we're gonna go ahead and choose our nose cone. And we're gonna say, we're gonna click on length right here and we're gonna hit add. And this is the parameters to optimize. So nose cone length added over here, okay? And we have a simulation running, optimize value. We wanna optimize altitude. Um, wanna maximize it, right? Minimum stability, let's try to keep it around 1.25. How about that? So you can choose the stability you want. Uh, you can choose maximum stability. Like right now there's no maximum, but we can change that. We could change it to like five or something like that if we want. I'm gonna keep it at just the middle. And basically what we have right here is we're going to try to optimize our nose cone length um, for our rocket. And you hit start this optimization and it'll run a couple times and look, this is what it did. It you know popped out this optimal nose cone length to give you your minimum stability 1.25 and maximize your altitude. Um, and you can do apply optimization to your rocket. And if you double check right down here, we're about 4,195 feet. If I apply that optimization, See what happens. Boom, we went to 4,225 feet. So it increases the altitude of your rocket a little bit and you can mess around with these parameters. So that's something you can do. Um, you have to be careful though. Um, it works for the nose cone, but if you're thinking in competition though, this nose cone doesn't have too much space in it. If you're gonna try to shove up, shove a uh, altimeter in there, if you're gonna try to shove a uh, GPS in there, you have to make sure that you have enough room to put that in there. So this optimizes it. Just purely an optimization, it's mathematical. It's not a physical optimization at all where you have to you know, think about what are you gonna try to put in that nose cone? Is that size actually something you can really work with? Um, and I'll show you kind of what I mean by these fins. So we added the sweep, we're gonna add all this other stuff. We're gonna add cant angle, we're gonna add height, we're gonna add position, we're gonna add root cord, we're gonna add tip cord. We want to optimize Apogee, we want to optimize our minimum stability of 1.12, just to have fun, we're going to apply the optimization. Oh shoot, I applied it, I want to hit start optimization. So it's going to run through all these different simulations. It's, look, you can see it's messing around with it, and looks like it stopped. So the simulation is stopped, and what it shows you is that your fins to have an optimal altitude of 7,871 feet aren't actually attached to the rocket body. So that's something you have to watch out for. You can mess around with these parameters in here to um, make sure that doesn't happen. But, you know, so that's just something you have to keep track of. Like this is this is an optimal altitude because it's based on mathematical formulas, but in reality, you can't have your fins detached from your rocket. So if I apply that optimization, this is what our rocket looks like, which, you know, it, it still goes pretty high, but you don't want to do that. So that's something you can do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that nose cone. Okay, so that's just one of the cool tools you can use. Um, and just to optimize your rocket if you really wanna mess around with that. Sometimes it's helpful, sometimes it's not. Um, you just need to make sure you enter in your parameters uh, correctly. So um, that says ASU Rock Tree Division's tutorial. Uh, first we did the introduction to Open Rocket, um, showing you a little tour around the interface here. The first um, real uh, tutorial we did was on just making a plain old rocket, um, this exact rocket right here. The second tutorial we did was how to do a dual deployment rocket, and the third tutorial was a um, multi-stage rocket tutorial. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, if you're in the team right now, um, please make sure you watch all these videos so you understand how to use Open Rocket. Um, if you have any questions, ask one of the directors. Um, but if you're outside of the organization, please let us know what you think of these videos and how we could improve them. And uh, let us know what you think of our organization and like us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and uh, Twitter as well. So uh, thank you very much for listening to all these videos. And if you have any suggestions for other videos we could do, let us know. Thank you very much.